happened inauguration day. The mayor's office is telling D.C. council members that they are bracing for the possibility of large-scale riots around Inauguration Day and January 6th. News first, Mark Seagraves was in that briefing. He joins us live near the ellipse with that story. Mark. Yeah, good evening. You can take a look over my shoulder and see that the stage is set for the vice president's speech. Thousands of people, you said, have been in line since early this morning filing in. Originally, they were anticipating about 20,000 people here. That shifted to about 40,000 as the estimated total. Then this morning, Chief Pamela Smith told reporters it could be as many as 50,000 people down here on the ellipse for this event tonight. All, as you said, as the district is preparing for more large-scale events like this over the coming months. Fencing surrounded the ellipse this morning in preparation for tonight's event. At the same time, just blocks away, D.C. Assistant City Administrator Chris Rodriguez was briefing the D.C. Council on security preparations for Election Day through January 6th and Inauguration Day, telling lawmakers D.C. is bracing for the possibility of, quote, large-scale riots and civil unrest. Rodriguez also told council members they are preparing for historic crowds in D.C. on Inauguration Day, no matter which candidate wins. D.C. Police Chief Pamela Smith briefed reporters this morning. She said her officers are ready for all the different events taking place today as well as the coming months. I want to assure you that the Metropolitan Police Department and all of the D.C. government agencies continue to prepare for these events. The Metropolitan Police Department supports individuals peacefully exercising their First Amendment rights. But I want to be very clear, we will not tolerate any violence of any kind. We will not tolerate any riots. We will not tolerate the destruction of property. We will not tolerate any unlawful behavior. Offenders will be arrested and will be held accountable. Now you're taking a look down Constitution Avenue by the White House with this road completely shut down for as far as you can see. And then take a look over here on the lawns of the Washington Monument. This has been set up with speakers and screens for an overflow audience here tonight. Now again, in the comments from the city admin, assistant city administrator and the chief of police, this is the first time that both of them have used the word riots when describing what they're preparing for as we get closer to January 6th and Inauguration Day. That is notable. As for the mayor tonight, she will be both attending here at 7 o'clock, the vice president's speech, and then she will head over toward DuPont Circle at 9 o'clock for the high heel race. That's the latest down here at the Ellipse. Mark Seagraves, News 4. Shalom. <clears throat> First thing foremost, I'm going to give all praises and glory and honor that is due to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles <coughs> and elders of Great Millstone and Ruel. Blessings and salutations to the whole elect. No one's in the gospel, bro. Look up the standard of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, wherever it may be. This is just a quick lesson through the Spirit. It says DC preparing for possible election riots and civil unrest. It was going into uh, inauguration time, which is, uh, I believe, it will. I think the inauguration takes place like January uh, 19th or 20th or something like that. It takes place in the month of January. But regardless of it, um, D.C. is pretty much under soft martial law or heavy security orders because, you know, they feel like people are going to kind of act out of pocket depending on which candidate assumes the role of the White House, which, you know, presidents are always selected, not elected. Um the average person don't really know that. They feel like their vote actually makes a difference, and it really don't, which to show you how stupid and uninformed the American people really is, because if they knew any better, they wouldn't even be wasting their times portraying like they are, uh, or they wouldn't even waste their times going down to these candidates and these polls, casting a ballot that don't even count because you have what they call the Electoral College, which ultimately, which ultimately decides who's going to be the president, you know? And on top of that, the elites have already decided, okay, like back in 1995, you had a guy by the name of Rick Nusadinsky, which is basically Obama's handler. And they already had plans on setting this guy, Obama, up to be the president of the United States come year 2008. But yet, when he became president that year, I mean, this, the country turned up. I mean, they act like it was the second coming of Yahweh Shot, man. I remember when he won that election, you know, and Chicago was just turned all the way up. I mean, it was to the point it was celebrations everywhere. People was protesting. I mean, you know, celebrations, you know, 
Jake was happy. Jake was celebrating. Jake was getting high and drunk, man. They act like they scored the victory. And then that same year, the economy collapsed on this nigga's watch. <laughs> and he done a damn thing for Jake, but yet they went down there and put that nigga back in office for four more years. Which show you how dumb these people really is, man. Okay, the whole concept of a bipartisan or a two politic a, a, a political system that people can vote on is under what they call a democracy, which goes into people's rule. Now, this is not truly a democracy. In fact, this is a dick. This this society is based on capitalism, man. All right, this is really a dictatorship, or this is like a what you call a. a America is not a democracy. I'll put it to you that way. But under the so-called constitution and, you know, particular rights that people have, their freedoms is under the illusion of a democracy. But it's really not. OK, so they give people the semblance of being able to go down there and vote and to make it seem like their voice matters. But you even had elites or lower level elites coming out inside of saying like the votes don't mean anything. Like You can vote. 10 times for Donald Trump and he can literally be the legitimate winner. But if the elites don't want him in there, then that's not going to be the case. But the average person don't know that because they have under this delusion and under this witchcraft this spell. OK, so now they're talking about civil unrest possibly breaking out in America. And you know what? Eventually that will be the case because that's in the scriptures. OK, so. uh Oh, give me one second. So anyway, uh, let's get a couple of precepts here. Because there was a couple of videos I seen on civil unrest. And actually, I did one last night. But like, when you go... Where is it at? Uh, Dabu 7. Matter of fact, let's look up Dabu. He gets some good information on this as well. Two days ago, it says, are you ready? D.C. begins boarding up, holding drills ahead of election. That's like some type of preparation for martial law, you know. But anyway, this is the book of Jeremiah 50. And I'm going to start at verses 45. It says, my people, go ye out of the midst of her and deliver every ye man his own soul from the fierce anger of the Lord. OK, it says, unless your heart faint and ye fear for the rumor that should be heard in the land, a rumor should come both one year. And after that, another year should come a ruler and violence in the land, ruler against ruler. And even though this is going into world war, there's a buildup. OK, because the rumors and the things that you've heard over the time is that for one thing, there would be civil unrest. There would be race riots, class riots. There would be blackouts. There would be total pandemonium in the streets of Babylon. And not only in America, it's going to be around the world. OK, this is going to be a worldwide fucking uh, when, when the U.S. dollar collapsed. This is going to be a worldwide collapse, man. All right. And not only here in America, you're going to have riots in Brazil. You're going to have riots in Venezuela. You're going to have riots down in Haiti. You're going to have riots in, 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 in the UK, France. I mean, you have riots in these places now. But the whole world is getting ready to be at war. And on top of that, a world war. So it says here, unless your heart faint and you fear for the rumor that should be heard in the land. Because when people hear these things, they get afraid. You know, because ultimately they're not being backed by the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And they're not grounding themselves in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, they put their faith and trust in these leaders. And before you know it, they leave them high and dry. But it says a rumor should come both one year and after that another year should come a rumor. And violence in the land. All right. And therefore the days come that I will do judgment upon the graven images of Babylon. And our whole land should be confounded. And all her slain should fall in the midst of her. And ultimately, that's going into world war. But as I mentioned, before world war, you're going to have all types of tensions. You're going to have all types of chaos, protests. Like, you have worldwide protests now. You know? And people, they don't know which way to go. They don't know which candidate to really believe in. But they're just going with what their emotions tell them to do. But well, Donald Trump said he's going to make America great again. He's going to give us a license to open up on you jakes. Kamala's going to let us get our dicks chopped off, you know. It's going to allow us to kill our babies without any repercussions. So when people hear these things, they go off the emotion, okay. Well, this is how I feel emotionally, so therefore I'm going to support that, that nonsense. And before you know it, you're already in a bind. Okay, like, I think, shit, they say inflation. They say that uh, the housing market, that shit that went up 
you know, the cost of living. I mean, groceries. I mean, it's to the point. I was at the store yesterday and, and a carton of organic eggs is like seven fucking dollars, man. You know? So it's just like, goddamn. So, yeah, people are getting ready to lose it. All right. Uh, let's play this video real quick. Uh, it's two different videos here. But I'm going to play both these. The second one, U.S. Capitol holds military drills to prepare for civil war, possibly. So let's see what it says. Hey, guys. So everybody is ditching their fucking break, man. God, car man. insurance. And they're doing this instead. This is Dabu 7. As we approach the official election day here in the United States, we have a lot of red flags flying all over the place. We have... Former White House advisors warning that they believe Kamala and the regime is going to try to launch a civil war. We also have this mass casualty evacuation exercise that took place at the White House. There was two different events. A week prior, they did a campus evacuation, which is suspect. You didn't see this type of stuff when Trump won it and got in there. Okay. When we did see them doing something similar, putting a fence around the White House, is when they installed Biden. Okay, so they're making similar moves here and running these big drills. Uh, we, we've got reps saying that they're planning to maintain control of the Capitol. So this is setting the stage like they're preparing for something big to happen, regardless here. Uh, drills, exercises have been launched and uh, the statements being made that they're planning for civil war for something to potentially break out here around the capital we've seen them taking taking what looks to be an extra layer of fencing up around the perimeter as well to secure it and uh, in this drill they had 12 helicopters dropping in on the capital to lock it down and get anyone out of there that they needed to so I think it's worth mentioning here, heading into Election Day, and we're seeing all types of things happen, happening across the United States, from the ballot box stuff to glitches, when people are trying to put their votes in, even seeing it here in Kentucky. Make sure to follow my Twitter or X account for breaking news and updated information. And join me for the live streams Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern, right here, where I talk about this in a whole lot more in greater detail. So there you go. Basically, they're preparing for civil unrest because they know they're both sides on edge. Like they had this whole thing last week. It was burning ballot boxes and all that other stuff. So people are really turned up, man. Why you jakes are sitting up here playing games and trying to <clears throat> fit yourself into a situation that don't apply to you. All because you have the right to be more wicked towards the Heavenly Father. All this is getting ready to backfire, man. All right. Because whoever wins, the tension isn't going to, the tension is the Hey, the tension is, is just going to continue to grow among both sides, man. So a civil war is inevitable. All right. They didn't put that movie out earlier this year for nothing. And matter of fact, they put that movie Civil War out right before. I think it came out after the uh, solar eclipse. And remember, we just had a total solar eclipse back in April. OK. And all of a sudden, all this shit is transpiring. World War Three, economic collapse, RFID chip, riots, chaos. Things are happening. All right. Let's play this one last video and get a couple more precepts and we'll end it. Under the abortion ban, no doctor in Missouri could help me. In the ban, so women can get the care they need. If you have a car, the worst thing you could do right now is pay for auto insurance. Let me explain. Are you ready for any potential blowback that comes from this election that pours into the streets, either which way it goes? Well... It looks like the government has been preparing for this. And as I recall, back when Trump went against Hillary, this wasn't happening. They, they weren't boarding up like this. They weren't going to this extreme thinking that chaos was going to happen. Now, chaos happens in D.C. I've been there front line. I filmed it. But it's almost always these groups that are connected to paid protesters and agitators that always tracks back to George Soros and the Minions. This time I expect to be no different. If Trump gets in there, you're talking about 
a huge staged event. You're talking.